Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I just want to share this video with y'all because it's very important for us to know and realize this with all the stuff going on. The situation going on with Kyrie Irving and the situation going on with Kanye West. It really just comes to show when you when you when you tell people the truth about a lot of stuff and you get like these endorsement deals with these different companies, whether it's like Nike, Adidas, you know, it causes you to lose your endorsements when you keep it too outspoken, when you keep it too real, when you always tell them the truth about a lot of stuff. But I just wanted to share this video with y'all. They want to keep you brainwashed. They want to keep everybody brainwashed. They don't want people to wake up. More, more and more people are waking up day after day. I mean, Kyrie Irving is a woke basketball player. And just like with Kanye West, Kanye West is trying to wake people up. Him and Kyrie Irving both. More and more people are waking up day after day. And these higher ups... They, they don't like it. You know what I mean? See, this is how it is when you keep it too real. They, they want to keep you brainwashed. I mean, brainwashing starts early. It starts early. Like when you're a kid, when you go to school, they want you to be brainwashed. And you see, when you go to school for 12 years, them 12 years of school, all they really do is brainwash you. They want you to be brainwashed at an early age. They, they want to get you brainwashed at a very early age. Putting you through all this stress for failing a test, for getting an F in this, for getting an F in that. When in the reality of it all, when you finish school, when you graduate, it's not even going to really matter anymore. And again, I'm not saying that, 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 that as a student... <gasps> Oh, excuse me. Now, I'm not saying that, like, as a student in school that you should, like, just be lazy and not do your work at all. You still got to do the best that you can do in order, you know, like, to get good grades. But, I mean, if you get bad grades, you're not a failure. You're not a failure. I mean, what you got a bad grade in, what you're failing, is probably not even going to even matter anymore when you finish, when you graduate. Like... But, but yeah, the brainwashing starts early. Like, the, like they really want to brainwash the kids. Like, you know, but, but yeah, that's the problem. You know, this goes on in sports, music. See, this is why when it comes down to music, this is the reason why an artist like myself is, you know, just wants to stay independent and wants to make it by being fully independent. Because I know with me keeping it too real, I know the music industry is not really going to dig that. I mean, I can bet you right now, I mean, if a rapper like, um... Jack Harlow or maybe somebody like or, or even or even Corday like if, if they would like to make like a controversial rap song the label will probably whoa, whoa I know like what Corday he has his own label high level but he does have like a distribution deal with Atlantic but if he was to make like a controversial song Atlantic would probably consider dropping him and and you see Lupe Fiasco had issues with Atlantic Records. Like Lupe Fiasco, he's no longer on Atlantic. He independent now. And 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 don't get me wrong, Corday and Jack Harlow, I'm fans of both of them. I mean, when it comes down to mainstream hip hop, the only two people the only two like rappers that people can think of that are lyrical is Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole, but Corday and Jack Harlow, and, and, and I would also say Token, too. I mean, Token, with his label never too different, Token also has a distribution with Atlantic, too. You know, before, well, some of y'all still may not be all that familiar with Token, but, but Token before, Token was, like, independent. He was an independent artist at the time when he came <clears throat> when he had came out with his first mixtape eraser shavings. Like when he came out with that mixtape token, he was an independent artist. But 
yeah, I mean, Token, he kind of got, like, the mainstream exposure. Now, he got him a distribution with Atlantic Records. But, yo, yeah, they just want to keep people brainwashed. They don't want people to wake up to what's real. They don't want people to wake up and realize that with the way they be living their life is a lie. Wake up, go to work, come home, eat, sleep, and then repeat. Because really, to be honest with you, going to school for 12 years, that's pretty much what it really prepares you for. It prepares you to be a worker to be a nine to five worker they they pretty much brainwash you to make you think the only way you can make a living is by being a worker by waking up go to work come home eat sleep and then repeat when you know you don't you don't really gotta like live your whole life like that like wake up go to work come home eat sleep repeat and then die like no there's more to life you're supposed to live your life to the fullest. You're supposed to be doing things that you want to do. You're supposed to be doing things that you love to do, you know, and doing what you got to do in order to get paid by doing what you love to do. But you see that that's the problem. They want to keep people brainwashed. They want people to be at a low vibration. That's the problem with the world that, you know, that that's that's the reason why the world that we live in is so messed up. But again, I salute, I salute Kyrie Irving. Shout out to Kyrie Irving and shout out to Kanye West for, for both keeping it real. You know what I mean? But yeah, they they just want to keep keep people brainwashed. That's all it is. Gotta give shout out to Kanye West and Kyrie Irving for trying to wake people up. But yo, I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all, give y'all some real stuff on this Saturday morning. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new song, I Could Never Ever Mumble Rap, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.